father's playing with his trains. <laughs> From a pretty young age, my son loved trains, and I'll admit that I do too. In our first house, we lived within earshot of some train tracks, and so out of my own curiosity about which trains are passing by, and to make something interesting for our precocious toddler, I turned an old Lionel train signal from eBay into something that announces arriving and departing trains with some model railroading flair. It uses a Raspberry Pi Zero to query Amtrak's live train timetable and uses AWS Poly and some audio processing to make an authentic sounding train announcement along with some GPIO magic to activate the signal. Find your inner train conductor today on John Builds Things. Before I begin, I want to give a quick shout out to my two nieces. Your enthusiasm for these videos means more to me than you know. Now on with the video. So I built this gadget almost two years ago and decided that it was time to share it with you all. What you're seeing here is a bit of a rebuild and refinement of the original. Like all projects, I started with the software to get something basic working. There were three key things to think through for the software. One, where to get the arrival departure data. Two, how to generate the announcement voice. And three, how to make the audio have an authentic railroading sound. So first getting the data. Amtrak doesn't expose an actual API, but after some digging, I discovered many people have reverse engineered the live train tracking dashboard to get that data. Essentially, the site embeds various AES key derivation information in its JavaScript which is used to decode a Base64 payload into JSON. Of course, Amtrak could change this at any minute, but I've had this project up for a while, and it still works. I converted this all to Python and compared notes with some others who reverse engineered the service. In no time, I was getting real JSON data output that was in a fairly easy to understand layout. The Python code just replicates what the train dashboard does in JavaScript. You can see from this printed output, the data contains an entry for each train and details which line it's running on and the scheduled and real arrival and departure times for each station on that route. I can then use this data to activate the train signal anytime I see active arrival or departure information. Next was the voice. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Raspberry Pi Zero, it's the little sibling of the massively popular Raspberry Pi single board computer. The Zero offers the same architecture and I.O., but in a much smaller form factor and reduced processor and RAM specs. Its small form factor and just enough computing power to manage JSON parsing and decryption work made it perfect for this project. While the Raspberry Pi Zero was a perfect size for this project, Handling high quality voice generation on it was probably out. And so I turned to AWS Poly to generate the speech. With Poly, it uses a common speech synthesis markup format, which allows me to easily control pacing and emphasis when generating voice from text. Finally, mixing it down. I wanted to create an authentic sound, mixing the announcer voice with some atmosphere audio. First, I start with the generated speech. Now departing Washington Union Station. The Northeast Regional, number 156, bound for New York Penn Station. Then I import the pre mixed station sound effects. and then add some echo to the synthesized voice, prepend some blank audio to add delay, and mix it. Now departing Washington Union Station. 
the Northeast Regional, number 156, bound for New York Penn Station. Sox is a Swiss Army knife for audio manipulation, and luckily there's a Python library that bridges into it, which had exactly the functionality I needed. Using Sox, I'm able to recreate that audio mixdown for each arrival and departure that the software discovers. With the software figured out, it was time to build the hardware. I searched the usual 3D printing sites for any model railroading meshes that I could use and came up short so I chose to buy an old Lionel train signal from eBay. These signals are designed to run on voltage a bit higher than I would have available, so the lights and electromagnet to drop the gate would barely function. So I removed the existing electronics. Then I replaced the lamps with red LEDs and started designing a base for the signal in Fusion 360 that could also house a servo motor to actuate the gate. To amplify and output the audio, I used a speaker bonnet made for the Pi Zero from Adafruit. These tend to go in and out of production, so any audio hat will do. With an enclosure I was satisfied with, I updated my code to activate both the audio effects and servo when a train was arriving or departing at my nearby station. Finally, it was time for assembly, which was pretty straightforward. I intentionally left the bottom of this exposed, as it would just be sitting on a shelf where my family would rarely interact with it. From time to time, we do unplug it, as the voice can get a little bit annoying but every time it activates, it gives my toddler and me a thrill. I wired the new LEDs into two GPIO pins on the Pi Zero, and I wired the servo to another. You can see when it rotates, it pulls the signal down in place of the electromagnet originally in the signal. If you'd like to build this yourself, I've posted the STL files to printables, and you'll just need to get an old Lionel trade signal. Just about any model should be fine. Feel free to make a PR against the repo if you make any cool modifications. There's also plenty of documentation on the software so that you can replicate what I've done here. And remember, as usual, to like this video and subscribe to John Builds Things. Now departing Washington Union Station, the Northeast Regional, number 156, bound for New York Penn Station.